Hey everybody, I bet you can't guess where I am right now, but if you did guess the pink sand dunes of Utah, you're correct. So give yourself like 100 points. And this is actually my second time coming here because the first time I lost all my footage because of a kayaking accident. Um, all right, thank you so much for saving me too. Much appreciated <laughs> and uh, great meeting you all. <laughs> thank you so Bye. much. Bye. I'll get into that maybe in another video. There's a treasure hunt coming, trust me, it's gonna be good. So I came back a second time just to document this place and I love it. And actually I knew about this place six months ago. I added it to my bucket list. I actually almost drove here, no joke. I almost drove here six months ago just because I saw how beautiful it was. And I was like, pink sand dunes, this sounds cool. I wanna go check it out. And now you're probably wondering, what the heck's the title of this video? Where is she going with this? What's this video about? And uh, yeah, here's a little lesson that I kind of wish I knew in my 20s. And I'll probably fall back. Everything in life's like a wave, right? You have ups and downs. Humans, we want to help other humans. And this is where we can kind of get in trouble. And this week I hung out with some friends and they kind of were saying the same thing. You can help people. We love helping people, especially giving people. We feel good helping people, but we have a cup and that cup of love drains and we need our cup refilled too. So when our cup is drained, then we're just feeling exhausted. We're feeling used. We're not feeling loved and all this stuff because we want to keep giving after our cup is empty. We want to still give. And this is where we go into a lot of trouble. And this is where we have to stop. So just remember this word. I don't like using the word no, be assertive. So forget about the word no for now. Just be assertive. Just saying, hey, I got to be assertive. I got to take care of myself. And I know some people are like, oh, taking care of yourself. That sounds selfish and stuff like that. So another friend of mine that actually I think it was like February we hung out and this friend told me that hey look at it this way it's not being selfish it's like when you're on an airplane and the flight attendants go over the instructions and they say that oxygen mask falls what do you do do you help the person next to you or do you help the person next to you no 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 you help yourself <gasps> You get that oxygen in yourself. Once you get that oxygen in yourself, you can turn to the person next to you, you can turn to the person and you can start helping them. So you have to have compassion, you have to have love for yourself. And again, this is, I'm not gonna say I'm perfect, I figured it out, I think I'm kicking butt in the last month of being assertive. And again, I think humans will have slip ups, one step back, two steps forward, but we're, we're moving forward, we're becoming better people as we get older, I hope. So I kind of making this is to, you know, for my future self and stuff like that. Hey, I'm gonna tell myself right now, if you're watching this, Corey, first off, it's okay to say no, you're not a bad person. Say no, you're okay, it's okay. I'll rub you on the back, you're good to go. You're not a bad person. And just remember that you have to give yourself some love, compassion, you have to fill your cup of love up. So just remember that next time, give yourself a treat. Yeah, do something to give yourself love. You deserve love. You deserve to get your cup filled too. And then once your cup is filled, go out and help other people. And yeah, us giving people, we like doing that. We get pleasure out of helping people, which is really, really cool. I love giving people because yeah, we get off on helping other people. Isn't that crazy? So definitely don't do it though if your cup's not full. So you're going to run yourself, you're gonna end up, you're gonna get mental illness, you're gonna get depression, you're gonna get everything, you're gonna get anxiety, and it's gonna be overwhelming if you're not taking care of yourself. So it's something I have learned and I'm still learning in the process. So I hope this helps you. I hope this kind of gets you like, okay, you're right. Hey, right now, Corey made a lot of sense. My cup is low. I'm just gonna back up. If a friend asks you, hey, come over and paint my house this weekend, what are you gonna say? Or, hey, do you wanna go to the movies or dinner or something like that? And you really just, you really, it sounds exhausting to you right now. It's okay to say no. I'm giving you permission to say no. So 
Yeah, especially the house painting thing. That's, it's kind of, whoa, <laughs> that's a big project right there. It's okay, you can tell your friend no. Uh, so I gave you permission, it's okay, say no. And the only two things you have to do when you tell somebody no, you can validate their feelings, that's awesome. Validate their feelings like, oh, I totally understand you need your house painted, but no, I'm busy this weekend. And then it's not your responsibility. Yes, people will get mad, they'll guilt trip you and say, ah, oh, no, you can't say no, how dare you say no? That's not your problem. Remember this too, that's not your problem. How they react is not your problem. And if they react toxic, hey, you don't want that friend in your life, right? So just remember that too. So uh, it's not your responsibility to make them happy. It's your responsibility to make yourself happy first. I have a really cool treasure hunt I'm going on tomorrow. It's definitely crazy. I hope people comment, you're kind of crazy. I know I am. So I hope you're all gonna be excited to see it tomorrow. Uh, well, it'll be a day or two before I can get it all, the footage and stuff, because whew, I don't think I'm going to make it back exactly. <laughs> it's a long, crazy treasure hunt story, but uh, it's going to be really, really cool and a little bit dangerous. So yeah, my next video is going to be exciting. And thank you to the 22 people who bought I Didn't Come Here to Die t-shirt. That is super cool. <laughs> okay, I better get out of here. It's starting to get dark. I just want to give a quick shout out to all my patrons. That's super awesome. Yes, I am trying to always get in the chat rooms every Friday night to talk and I'm doing a live thing, which is kind of like my podcast, what I'm doing for the week. So you get a like, more exclusive access and we can talk about certain things like still nobody brought up an anxiety or depression, but that's a hot topic I like to talk about right now. So definitely I'm looking forward to that. So thank you to all the patrons that help support the channel and things like, you know, things like music and a few other things like the programs cost money and just going out and doing this. It's just, it's awesome. So thank you so much to those people. You rock. And thank you to the 22 people who bought, I didn't come here to die t-shirt that made my day. I can't believe it. people are buying my t-shirt. Thank you so much. I designed it myself. That's actually Actually my image there and I did notice like in Bruce Canyon about half the people climbing up the whole steep canyon getting out of it they would look up and read it and say that shirt is so cool and they're like out of breath <laughs> they're like oh that's cool and right that I love that shirt and all that stuff so it was really really cool to get some feedback just from hikers out on the trail about the t-shirt so thank you so much and yeah that kind of helps pay for gas and other things and yeah, get into parks and all that other fun stuff. And I kind of damaged my camera again. So, oh no, I know it's another expense though, right? So yeah, sending out much love. Thank you so much. And remember, always be assertive if you have to. It's uh, your life. Just remember that and live it how you want to. Okay. I love everybody and thank you. Bye.